While doctors and nurses at Valley Hospitals are maxed out, this morning there is hope on the horizon with that new data that shows a slight dip in coronavirus cases. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks joins us from Banner University Medical Center in Phoenix. Uh, Trisha, what are we hearing from frontline workers? Joe, this is what we're hearing right now. We are not past the surge just yet, but in the past week alone, some hope on the horizon. The number of people in the hospital with COVID-19, as well as patients with COVID in the ICU, have been inching downward. Nurses at One Valley Hospital say in the past 10 months, they've been fighting the pandemic. This latest surge has been one of the worst of it. More patients with more severe cases. Data from the state health department shows the number of COVID-19 patients in the hospital and in the ICU hit an all-time high on January 11th, coming right after the New Year's holiday. But since then, it's been slowly shifting directions. Valley nurse Jody Johnson says the change is a plateau. So there was a time when we were getting more and more patients every single day, and that seems to have slowed down. And while it looks like things are starting to go in the right direction, Johnson says it has not changed the taxing day-to-day -day work just yet, unfortunately. And as we all know, this plateau could easily go the other direction. So health experts are still recommending the same things, wearing a mask on a regular basis and washing your hands frequently and getting the vaccine, of course, when it becomes available. Those are all critical in helping to stop the spread. Live in Phoenix, Trisha Hendricks, Today in AZ.